So what basically what I have been doing is supporting Mr. Marshall. We had a town meeting in Dangriga where a lot of issues were brought up, especially when it comes to persons with disabilities. The, um, the support that is needed, the, what is in place, but what, what's not working. So there are services in place, there are things going on, but they're not being effective. So we came to listen, we came to learn, because we have learned a lot over the, these days here. And um, it, it's, it's incredible, the, the, um, the resources that are needed, the, the training that needs to be put in place, so that these officers in, in whatever area they're working in, whether it's, be, whether it's in the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health, um, Human Development, training is super, um, essential and it's needed so I think that now getting a better perspective a better view on what's going on I can go back and talk to the ministers and the CEOs and say look this is the situation in the south this is a situation that um, we need to render more support we need to make sure that we don't forget our Belizean people down south so Mr. Marshall has taken his his group to what what they're doing basically is to set up BAPTA chapters. Mm -hmm. These are chapters that he wants to have in every district to um, support persons with disabilities. We call them PWDs, people with, with disabilities, children, families. So it's an across the board advocacy group. It's an association. And of course that's my passion, but <laughs> in my office, my that's one of the focus areas. But I'm also here to see what the women are doing down south. I know we've heard a lot about women's groups all over the country. And down south is no exception. There's a lot of little women's groups all over the place. And um, it's, it shows, it just goes to show how these women are trying to empower themselves and trying to survive and make that living and um, speaking to them, visiting with them there are some needs of course everybody has needs but to me being there with them seeing their work seeing how they're they're borrowing sewing machines to get things done as a registered group there is help out there all we they need to do is work together collaboratively and through advocacy and and even with proposal writing funding can be done People will not give you money if you don't have a project. So we're here to see what are some of the projects that are that can be put in place for for us to be able to assist and advocate for funding for these women in in Dangriga and in PG and across Great. the country.